Brooke, for you, how has the game changed here in your sophomore season? I think that I'm a little bit more comfortable, at least I'm trying to be. I think that just helping out my teammates and trying to calm everybody down more and just bring a different environment is one thing that I've been focusing a lot on, at least the past few games. So um, that's changed a lot, at least from this past year. Is that both on the court, off the court? Is that a, that a whole process? Um, I mean, obviously mostly on the court, but off the court as well. I mean, in the classroom, things like that. Just carrying myself differently and just trying to be more confident. That That's a big thing that I've been trying to work on. Brooke um, definitely took last year's uh, opportunity with all those minutes, and she steps on the court and a seasoned point guard. I think last year she just was thrown into the fire. And everything that she had to do, she was learning off the bat as a freshman and but the thing that I love about her is she's just a student of the game so all the films she's watched all the time that she's spent in the gym is really being benefited now because she's stepping in the court confident she's not doubting herself and she truly is the leader um, when you talk about a point guard and we have leaders we have leaders in Epi and KP and Katie we have those type of leaders but someone with the ball in their hands Brooke's not doubting her ability and what she can do and she looks w different she walks different um, she still has that hunger to get better, but I'm just so proud of her in her sophomore season, everything she's done so far. So I think uh, when people see our identity, they're going to see a blue-collar, hungry team that will never settle. We're going to find ways to get better. But it's always going to be rebounding. I hope people are going to constantly talk about, hey, you got to get on the boards uh, and, and rebound. I hope they're going to talk about our identity as a team that is extremely unselfish and that on any given night there's going to be three or four people that are going to attack. And that's exactly what you said. I think they're going to talk about a team that's going to dive on the court, give up their body. And we had so many charges. Brooke had three charges in her game against Utah, giving up her body, that we will sacrifice for one another for the ultimate goal of playing in March, that we don't care about individual statistics.